If you believe in Europe, if you love Europe, it's your duty to be the most vocal critic, especially when Europe falls short of its potential and of our expectations. And that, that's exactly what is happening right now with the vaccination in Europe. A, a fiasco, I called it, and a fiasco it is. So the question is, what is going wrong? Well, the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, who is responsible for the European vaccination program, recognized that there are problems. A few days ago, in the European Parliament, she said the following. Wir waren spät dran bei der Zulassung. Wir waren zu optimistisch bei der Massenproduktion. Und vielleicht waren wir uns auch zu sicher, dass das Bestellte tatsächlich pünktlich geliefert wird. So, in summary, what she is saying is, we did nothing wrong. We were only a little bit too optimistic about our capacity to produce in Europe. But that's not what the facts are telling us as we produce the vast majority of these vaccines. Apparently, what is happening is that we export them to other countries and that we keep only a tiny portion for ourselves. So the question remains, how did this happen? Well, in my opinion, the answer lies in the, the contracts Europe negotiated with the pharmaceutical companies, contracts that have been concluded last year. And I, I personally looked into three of these contracts. And while not all elements, especially on price and quantities, have been made public, it becomes immediately crystal clear when you read these contracts where the origin of our vaccination problems come from. These contracts are extremely unbalanced. They are precise on, on pricing and liabilities, but they are extremely weak and vague on supply and on timing. And more precise, they, there appears four big problems in these contracts, four problems that are at the same time for um, escape routes to the contractual obligations of the pharmaceutical company.